Okay, James. So uh, basically, we got through all of the parts on Let It Be. We have the verse, the chorus, and the tag. Now, we also learned the verse and the chorus based off of their chord structure. And so um, what we were talking about today was the difference between the one with the chords that just has the letters, so like C and G and all of those, but trying to make a connection between that version and the version with all the notes written out. And it's still kind of taking some time, so we'll probably talk about that again next week. Um, but for what you should practice for the week, what I would like you to do is get to the point with this song that we have it, one, memorized, but two, uh, know the form and the structure of the whole thing. So granted, there's three different sections, but um, I want you to try to think of them as one unit, right? So what we're actually going to be doing is playing the song, starting with the verse section, which is called part one. We're going to do that two times through, then go straight into the chorus section two times through, and then the tag at the end just one time. Okay? And so we're going to try to get to the point that we have that memorized and um, performable without any of the music or anything like that in that order. And so um, basically practice, practice memorizing those sections and it's probably helpful to focus on one section at a time. So practice maybe the verse and get that part memorized till that's comfortable. Then move on to the chorus, practice memorizing that and so on instead of trying to put them all together and memorize it as one chunk. So anyway, uh, work on that for this week. And uh, we didn't get a chance to look at the scales and things. We spent a lot of time on Let It Be today. So uh, continue practicing the scales hands together. And uh, we'll also look at the, um, the book tune next week. So uh, have a good week and we'll see you next time.